Hi guys, this is Mary. Welcome to Cards TV. You guys won't believe what I did. About a week ago, I was getting out of Wayne's car, and it sits up kind of high, and I came down wrong and hyperextended my knee. So I have not been able to drive. I can barely walk. I am getting around a little bit better, but I needed some supplies for some fall cards and Easter card Easter cards <laughs> Christmas cards <laughs> boy I'm jumping way ahead I needed some paper and things and I couldn't go to Michael's Hobby Lobby Joann's can't drive to get there and what else could I do I had to go to Amazon but I found some cute things now, I'm going to show you first the paper pads I got. This is Lawn Fawn, perfectly plaid Christmas, and it is cute, cute, cute. Look at all these cute plaids. They're all red and green, and I can't wait to use these. Plaid is big right now, guys. So this one's called Perfectly Plaid Christmas from Lawn Fawn. Then this one is Perfectly Plaid Winter love this one too this is going to make some really cute snowman cards and all of these are in shades of gray and a really pretty it's not teal and it's not turquoise it's just a pretty blue that's perfectly plaid winter and this one is from doodlebug designs and it's called here comes santa claus it is so cute guys i haven't opened it all the way so I'll go ahead and do that. But I just thought these papers were so cute when I was looking at them on Amazon. And let's get it open so we can look at them now. Here we go. Fold that piece in right there. Oh, look how cute. Santa with trees and candy canes and gifts and reindeer. And these are double-sided. And then back here, you could take these and just cut these out and make lots of quick little Christmas cards with these. Or you could use these for tags. Those would be really cute. Some cute polka dots, snowflakes. Here's a scene with lots of Christmas trees and snowflakes. And here's some multicolored snowflakes on the back. Candy canes. Here's some borders. You could use this whole piece on a card, or you could cut out the individual borders. Holly and berries. That's always cute. Diagonal stripes. That's a good one to have for Christmas. These are cute little cars and trucks with Christmas trees on top and in the back of the trucks. Really cute. And here is a green. Oh, it's Christmas trees. It's a darker green with lighter green Christmas trees. That's cute. Lots and lots of cute little Santas. Some more to cut out. These would be cute tags as well. Or on the front of cards. Here's lots of cute little hearts. Now, you could even use this for Valentine's Day because it's not, even though it has red and green, it also has pink and some pretty blues that'd be really cute and here's some solid pink you could definitely use this for valentine's day really cute oh look at this this is like a little advent calendar that is adorable i love that here's some green with lighter green snowflakes oh my goodness look at this <laughs> this is like little reindeer families it's like a bigger reindeer than a little one for the mom and a little one for the baby. Oh, that is so cute. Love that. Then this is red with lighter red snowflakes. Here's multicolored snowflakes. Here's what that would be cute for the cover of an, a mini album. Santa Claus is coming to town. <laughs> Here's some red and lighter red polka dot some green gingham and we're back to the beginning again really cute paper pad 
So it looks like these are double sided and there's two of each one. And there is one, two, three, four, five, six, nine, ten, eleven. Looks like there's 22 designs, maybe. Or maybe 11 designs. Anyway, it's cute, guys, and I'm so glad I got it. <laughs> now, here's another Doodle Bug Designs. This one's called Craft in Color. And this is good to have for any time. So it's got some cute papers. Here's some pink with flowers. These are also double-sided. Here's a really pale pink plaid. A pink gingham. Here's pink dots, red dots. Here's some chevron stripes, some orange polka dots, orange stripes, yellow flowers, yellow stripes, chevron, green polka dots, blue. I love this. Here's a teal wood grain. That's very unusual. And now we've got a purple plaid, or yeah, plaid purple dots. You know, I love purple. Here's a gray wood grain. Here's like a honeycomb in gray. These are unusual. I like them. And we start all over again. Really neat paper pad. This was an add-on. I think I got this for three dollars. So that's good to have. Now this one is a 12 by 12. I wanted it in 6 by 6, but they didn't have it. And this is the Doodlebug Design Flea Market. And this is so cute. If you can get this in 6 by 6, get it, guys. I don't know if they've gotten it back or not, but it is just adorable. And I thought, I'm going to get it in the 12 by 12. If that's all I can get, I'm going to get it because it is so cute. And this one also comes with a sticker sheet when you get the 12 by 12. So here's the front. And it shows you all the different papers. So cute. Look at this for fall, guys. I love that. All these multicolored and multi-patterned leaves. And then on the back side, we've got orange with lighter colored orange leaves. And then here's some suitcases if you're going on a fall trip. And the back side is just some cute little cameras. There's a lighter green background. And then you can see all these cute little cameras on there. Look at this. Oh, love this. Little mice, pumpkins, owls, a little fox, acorns, leaves, little sunflowers. Isn't that cute? I'm just loving this one. And then on the back, it's like little sheaves of wheat. Hope I'm not getting them too close. I like this. This is just like a honeycomb, but it's got all the different plaids and flowers and polka dots and herringbone or houndstooth. I keep calling that herringbone. That's a houndstooth check. There's the sheaves of wheat. Really cute. The back side of this is borders, which you could cut out and use on a scrapbook page, or you could cut them out and put them on a card. There's like a ruler. Really cute. Clouds, pumpkins, travel trailers. Now, here's some bigger pieces if you scrapbook and do the, uh, can't remember what you call it, you know, the pocket scrapbooking. These would be really cute to cut out for that. Or you could put them on the front of a card. These would completely cover the front of a card and be really cute. Then on the back, we've got all these beautiful flowers. That's so pretty for fall. And we're back to the fall leaves. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Oh, look. Oh, this would be so cute to frame. We have a travel trailer. This would be adorable to frame and put in the travel trailer. That's what I'm going to do with this one. Really, really cute. It's got that wood grain background. I love that. Didn't know that was in there. <laughs> nice surprise. Oh, look at the cute sunflowers. Then on the back, 
We've got what looks like uh, a wooden floor. Really cute. Typewriters. Typewriters are big right now, too. Really cute. Then on the back, we've got some more of these cutouts. Just love this. Isn't that cute? <laughs> love it. Then we got some cute plaid. And this has got little trucks. Don't know if you can make them out. The trucks are in a lighter color. Really cute. Canning jars or mason jars. We've got buttons and apples, sunflowers, acorns. There's a little mouse in there, a pear. Spools of thread. Really cute, cute, cute paper. And I don't think the designs are too big that, that they'd be too big for a card. Oh, look at this. All these little mice. They've got acorns and apples and pears and spools of thread. Really, really cute. There's one coming out of a mason jar. Adorable. And here's the travel trailers. And here's some clouds. This is always good paper to have for backgrounds. And then right here is the sticker sheet. These peel off individually. Look at that. Pretty neat for doing a mini album or a scrapbook page. These just peel right off. Really cute. A lot of these would be cute on cards as well as scrapbook pages. And cute little borders. I'm so glad I got that set. I really like it. Okay, that one's called Flea Market. Now, here's some basics I had to pick up. These aren't, but I needed some green and red and some ivory cardstock. And they have Recollections cardstock on Amazon, guys. This one's Feathered Greens, so it came with all these different colors of green. Definitely needed some red. This is called Shades of Red. And there they are. I love the darker reds for Christmas, like the Cranberry and the Burgundy. And this one's called Vanilla Cream. This is from Coordinations, and it has a canvas texture. thought that was pretty. Now, these, I like to add enamel dots, like a lot of us do. I do that more than sequins. So, I had seen people use, I think it's Nuvo Drops, and I had seen some people use these uh, Viva Decor pens. The Viva Decor pens, I could find in the colors I was looking for, so I went ahead and picked these up. And here's some I did with the red. And they've dried now, so they're moving. And you just put these on some kind of waxy or slick surface. And then when they dry, they'll come right off. But I did those with the red. And you just shake it up really well. Hold it straight above and squeeze it until you get the size dot you want. Then move on to the next. When you're done, don't tap from underneath. Just tap on top of the paper. And they will just flatten out and become more round. I really like this. So I got red. This is a sunny yellow. And it has kind of a pearl essence to it. I got black. Here's violet glitter. I haven't tried these yet, but I think they'll be pretty. Here is a glitter turquoise. This one is clear, like... Um, Crystal effects. This one's clear. And then I got an orange. And I got a pretty green called Kiwi. So I'm going to be making lots of dots. <laughs> but I think I got a pretty good haul from Amazon. I know I'm going to be enjoying all of it. I've got quite a bit here. So I've got to get busy. I'm spilling my dots over there and get this stuff organized and figure out what I'm going to do with it. I'm going to try to come back tomorrow or the next day and start back on my 12 days of Christmas because since I hurt my knee, I haven't been able to do much. I couldn't get to my craft room for four days, guys. That was bad. <laughs> but I'm down here now. 
It's just when I get down here, I have to stay a while because it's too hard to get back upstairs. But thanks so much for coming by and letting me show you my haul, guys. I just had a great time picking all this up off of Amazon, and it was super easy. Just sit at my computer and start ordering away. But have a great day, everybody. I'll see you again soon. Bye now.